Good evening, everyone. We are live. I'm going to turn up the game audio just a little bit. Because I noticed in some of my recordings that it was a little bit quiet. So maybe that's a little bit better. Um, yeah, we're live. We're doing some more... Actually, I'm just going to turn this up. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Uh, you should still be able to hear me over the game pretty easily, but now you should be able to actually hear the game. <coughs> We are live, uh, which means I should get rid of the going live soon and turn on my camera. Hello. Hi. We're live with more Grudo Exile. Uh, link to the ROM hack. So Grudo Exile is a completely like reworked ROM hack of the game. So like everything is laid out different. The the tools you get, the items you get, are the same, but, like, the entire map is different. Um, and so it's essentially, like, an entirely new game in the Link to the Past game engine, so to speak. Uh, this is episode four. Fourth stream of this. Uh, let's see, last time, we got a ton of stuff. We got... The bow and arrows, we got the ice rod, uh, we got the shovel, we got the flute, we got the glove. Um, so now we're just gonna run around and try to figure out what we can find with those items. Uh, one main thing I know I can do is now that I have the ice rod, I can go <coughs> back to the catacombs, the royal catacombs and progress in that dungeon since there was a room there that required having the uh what's it called the ice rod oh yeah the first thing i wanted to do is check out where all the flute spots are because i didn't look at them very thoroughly last time so like number one is up here. Okay, that's somewhere I could already get to. <clears throat> I'm basically looking to see, like, are there any new locations that I couldn't get to before? This was Glacier Peak, which I already did everything it was possible to do on this cave, on this mountaintop, right? Uh, did I finish this? Did I do this? I think I did. Yes. Okay, that was just for some rupees. <clears throat> yeah, and all that was up here was Glacier Peak. Okay. Uh, where does spot three take me? It takes me here. Okay, where does spot four take me? Aha. So it's a shortcut to whatever this hut is going to be once I have the master sword and or the cape. Assuming the cape's even in this. Uh, while we're here, <clears throat> there is something nearby I would like to take a look at. Because I don't think I did... Oh, the lag. Uh... Hmm. 
this spot. What does this get us? 100 rupees. And a spot where I could catch some fairies. Okay. It's not nothing, but it's not like heart piece or anything. Uh, going back to this. <clears throat> Where does five take me? Up here, which is close to where, close to like the potion shop. Okay. This was the volcano. I don't need to go back there yet. This is just over here by the side of the lake. I don't think I figured out yet how to get on the other side of this door. <clears throat> so that's something I should investigate. So the other ones have all been fairly well-marked patterns of flowers. Go away. It's not bonking into that tree or anything. Hmm. Can I get anywhere from the screen to the south of here? Let's find out. Doesn't look like it. Uh. Thank you. Yeah. If I hop down here, that doesn't get me anywhere. How does one get down there, I wonder? Maybe you don't. That does look like it's off the bottom of the screen. something on that screen. Like, I imagine it's not going to be too far away. seem to figure out where it is.
Hmm. Well, I guess I'll hold off on this for now and come back to it later. And then this was eight. Yeah. I don't think I've been back to the quarry since I got the gloves. So let's check that out. Because there's definitely... There's a million rocks here. Yeah, there's this very obvious heart piece. Is that it? No, there's a path. Hang on. At least something that looks like a path. Uh, there's a cave over there. Oh, do you think one of these has stairs under, under it? That well, seems plausible, but who knows which one. I guess let's start lifting every rock and breaking every bonk rock. Okay, it wasn't any of those. left the screen and see if there's there's more rocks to pick up so maybe there's something over here like this one or that one or this one or this one this one Oh, that's a suspicious looking structure. How those two rocks are completely cordoned off and have to be approached from the next screen over. Alright, let's try to do that. Is this the secret? Is this the secret? Do I dig here? <clears throat> Nothing, huh? Well, I'll continue forwards. <laughs> oh, is nope, that's not it. <clears throat> I mean, maybe that's all you need is a little bit of weight training. Alright. There was a cave over here, I want to say. Did I visit this? I think I revisited this once I had... Yeah. I did. Right. It was just rupees. <clears throat> What 
plants down here. Oh, that's a return path. forward is this. If I look up over here, is there anything? Uh, I cannot tell if there's a cave over there or not. I guess let's go find out. <clears throat> Aha! Not a cave. There is a heart piece hiding underneath one of these mini armos. cave over here to the right. This isn't normally the path you would take to get to Eastern Foundry, but maybe there's something important here as a result. Right, I do remember seeing this once. Okay. And I think all that's over to the right is Eastern Foundry, but I guess it doesn't hurt to actually go check. Feels like there's still a few overworld movement tools that I don't have yet. just back over here. Alright. Well. Didn't quite find what I was looking for. Um, let's head to the desert. Since I have unfinished business there. I think this will be the fastest way to get there. can go further south on this screen, but not much further south. And not like an entire extra screen south or anything like that. I can go outside and get to the right side. Uh, no, I had it backwards. I can just go to the right. Which is... Can I jump down here? Does that do it? Oh. Close. Alright, I remember.
Still don't have a key to go up that way, but maybe I'm going to get one here. Alright. So. Let's ice rod some fools. Uh, maybe that'll be good enough. That was not good enough. Okay. So I really need to hit that... ...correctly. Reset the room this way. Okay, and we did it. All of that work for a key. Sure. Well, I can spend that key here. And get somewhere new. This looks strange to me. Ah, right. This gets me to this item. Which is the big key. Uh, which I can do stuff with in the back of the dungeon. So, I need to go this way. to hit a switch and then get back to the start of the dungeon. Which is easier said than done. I can go this way, though. So I can hit that. probably actually need to freeze those. Huh. Yeah, I need to freeze one of those. So I can do this. I need to freeze both of those. And get them both over here. Oh, that sounds miserable. 
Alright, this should take me off the super tile. This should put me back on it. interesting. The only way I have to get back is to fall. Wait, really? So I have to freeze both of them right away and throw them across. Oh, this is going to be a pain. Okay. So I'd have to juggle both of them. But I could throw one there, grab the other one, throw it up. Okay. I see what I have to do, but it's not going to be easy. I'm going to run out of magic pretty quickly. do what I need to do. Unless you refill my magic. You don't. So I have to leave the dungeon and come back in. Unless one of you two refills my magic. No. It's not the one I expected to hit. Crap. Well, that's a problem. Alright. Pull. Hook shot. Ice rod. Ice rod. Ice rod. Throw. Throw. I threw the wrong direction. So I think I'm dead. Yeah. This seems hard. Pro. Pro. Miss. That's going to be a problem. And I don't have two ice rod shots left.
Oh, come on. That's good enough. Okay. So from the middle, I can just throw to the right and have that be good enough. Okay. Okay, okay. I think I got this. Don't get hit. Perfect. Now what? Navigate around some spikes? I'm low on health from the previous room. Well, I have a fairy. So, it's not the end of the world. Alright, we're alternating bonks and hook shots here. in the big chest. Is it the Canis Maria? Yes. Now, I could reset the dungeon to reset the state of this switch. Or I could just drop down, which I think is what I want to do. I need a key. Can... I still can't do this room without the fire rod. Testing something. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Can't do anything here. Uh, is this a room I can clear? So I hit five switches there, which would get me one, two, three, four, five. We started with blue down. We'd go red down, blue down, red down, blue down, red down. 
feel like I'd be one short. So maybe I need two bombs. And also I need to space it out a little bit further so that I can actually... Uh, hit. Maybe if I put the block, like, here? Oh, crap. That doesn't do what I thought it did. I thought I could throw over that. I could have sworn you could throw over these blocks. I guess not. Okay. Why did only one of those register, I wonder? find out if I've put this Samaria block in the right spot. I have not. Alright, so that's the basic idea. I just need to find the right positioning for the Samaria block. And also, I need more bombs. We're back to blue up so I can leave the dungeon and reset all of these pots with items in them. Maybe I should have practiced in that room a little bit first. Because I just need to find a spot with... Oh my god. Stop it. I need to find a spot where one Mario block will hit four different switches at different times. That one, the right shot and the bottom shot hit the same switch. So maybe that, but a little bit higher, would do the trick. Let's try putting it here. Yeah, that's where I want it. Okay. Oh, I need it a little higher than that. I don't know why that happens sometimes, where only one of the bombs connects. All right, get this out of here. Because it's going to fizzle soon. I think. Oh, we'll just make it go away. Right about there. Perfect. Exactly what we were going for. I'm out of bombs. Well, I'm not out of bombs, but I'm very low on bombs. But I have a key, which means I can continue in the dungeon. Yeah. 
I didn't even pay attention to which direction the switches were, but I got lucky, and they were in the correct position. Okay. Interesting. I know where that item is. Okay. So, the key was just for that hint? And I could have saved a key if I didn't spend it here? Unless I need to hit that switch some for some reason. I think I didn't see why I needed that key, but I it's not going to be relevant until I have the item that was mentioned. Let's go get that then. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to save and quit. Because <laughs> I'm going to be using the... Um, what's it called, anyways? The flute. Ah, right. I got this. Cane of Samaria. Back to Tall Tall Heights. this way, through this room, <laughs> and in here. Because I did come here once before with the hookshot, but it turns out you need more than the hookshot to get through this. Right. Was down here. Under this pot is a switch that doesn't stay down. So you gotta push, put a block on it, and now you can be over here. do without the creepy floating skulls. I think there's any prize in here. It doesn't look like it. Maybe there's something if I kill all the skulls. There's one down. Two down. Three down. Does not appear I get anything for killing all of them. So we'll just leave. Oop. And we're now on a new part of the map. Cool. All 
All right. What's in here? Ooh. This looks like a new dungeon of some kind. Seven arrows aimed true, then the treasure is for you. Huh. shooting gallery. Nope. I failed. One. Two. Yeah, you gotta hit you gotta make all seven hits on that thing without missing and hitting the switches behind it. Oh. It's the same super tile, so you have to walk all the way out of the dungeon to actually reset. Gives you a heart, a little bit of magic, and some arrows. This up. That wasn't even close to right. What are you doing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I almost had it. One, two, three, four, five. Wait a little bit on this cycle. Six. Nope.
One, barely. Two. Three. One, two, three, my timing was off there regardless. I should have waited a cycle. I hit him, or I would have if he wasn't hiding behind the switch. I should have sat there and practiced my timing. I should do that next time. just said I should sit there and practice my timing. But what I really want is to practice the timing on the final phase. Because it gets, it's different each time. Hey Turbo, how's it going? Good to see ya. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I, uh, I, I hit the button and then had to go make dinner, so I didn't, uh, I wasn't around for super long, unfortunately, but. I do try to be supportive. Exile. It's a Link to the Past ROM hack. Um, I'm just doing a casual playthrough of it. Yeah. It is... That's a lot of fun. I've been enjoying myself a lot with it. It's got some uh, some interesting, interesting puzzles. Some uh, new and interesting ways of using items. Uh, they made the Ice Rod actually have a relevant use, rather than just being an item you need to kill Trinex and have no other purpose in the game. Which I think is really neat. I have actually
actually, uh, a while back, back in college, uh, I haven't used it in a long time. Um, I never made a full game, but I made a dungeon as part of a collab project that unfortunately never really got off the ground. That's just, that's just wrong. I haven't done anything with the engine at all recently. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. no, I... It is a pretty cool tool to work with. There is definitely a learning curve to it. Um, but... I remember it being pretty powerful once you know what you're doing. Alright, let me focus here for a minute. So much for focusing. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's neat. I I've even I've played a couple of games made in it, uh, although it's been a while. And I don't know if there's been any like major updates to the tool since the last time I looked at it or not. All right, stupid pokey in this stupid shooting gallery is going to die. One. Two, three. All right, just chill for a minute. I wish it were a little faster to reset this puzzle. <laughs> too early. I was too used to the faster timing. took entirely too long. All right. So this just gets me back to the entrance. Where do I go from here? Oh, an item. The red boomerang. Okay. That was a lot of work for a boomerang. <laughs> that. We'll take a full magic and let's go ahead and pick up the arrows down here. Oh, nope. The arrows are up. Alright. So now I can go to the volcano where I should be able to use this red boomerang to progress according to the hint that I got in the catacombs. Uh, 
Alright. Uh, is this just gonna be like... Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't even particularly hard. Once I have the right tools. Quite. Feels like there might be something there. Some convoluted way to actually hit that skeleton. Except I think the boomerang's gonna clink off of the walls no matter what. Well, it can only clink once. So. If it clinks and then I'm on the other side of... Interesting. I don't know. Oh, fairies. Okay. Something else suspicious going on on the super tile. fairies in case that matters. I don't know. Where does this... That just brings me back to the beginning. Well, I don't want to do that, so let's go up here. That's a weird spot to put the bomb shop. I wonder if there's any meaning to it. I mean, I'll buy some bombs. That just seems to indicate to me a return trip. Alright, well... Oh, this is not just the beginning. Okay. Pardon? Huh. Thank you. 
I want this tech type to go away. So that I can try to figure out how I'm going to make this work. Alright, so it's a timing thing. I waited too long there. One Mississippi. Okay, it's one Mississippi. Now let's f jump into this cave. how I get this. That's neat. So I think jumping down that lower ledge is what's going to actually reset me. So let's go check out what's in this cave first. Elden Volcano. So we go down here. I hit the switch. I go up. That requires a key, so we keep going. Uh, go up. Ooh. Oh, I almost missed that one. Those are some some tight timing on those, feels like. Uh, this is a lot of nonsense. Okay, I stunned the enemy. Let's go kill the enemy. That's not it. That's it. I got lucky and guessed the right one the first time, I guess. Even though it was the one that I was closest to, which is why I did it. Alright. Uh, the timing here... Looks... Even tighter in some ways. Oh, I missed. Don't miss. Got it. to go around this way again so that when I get here I can hit the switch I've got to do that loop so that the switch is in the correct position and I can go this way this is just some classic fire bar action Could be doing a better job with, but you know, whatever. I'll take that heart. I'll wait for another cycle. 
Oh, you are very in the way. You... Your reward. Okay... Actually, go from here. Something to hook shot to over there. I don't see any way to hit that switch. Maybe if I... Oh. Maybe if I just go this way, I'll find this. Huh. So that room exists only to hit that switch. Now I can go this way. But I don't think that helps me. go this way. Magic refill. Another switch I could hit. This. What is this? I beg your pardon? That works. I... Did not realize that worked. Okay, wait. I'm gonna do whatever nonsense is going on here. I need to do that. Let's also clear this enemy. no visible rail here and that makes me nervous oh oh I get it okay there is kind of a visible rail I'm just kind of guessing that I'm going to need to hit that. But it let me go this way. And this way. Uh, all right, keep going down. Let's hit that going this way. just ended up back where I started. Okay. What happens if I just go down here? Okay, so that's... Hang on. Is... Does this even do anything for me? Because if... All I'm trying to do is get to this big chest. I don't have the big key to open it yet. Oh, well, there does seem to be another way to go, though. All right. Let's... Hmm. We'll go down this way... Better hit that. Shoot. 
I needed to hit it again. Uh, right. Let's reset the room. <clears throat> Take that little bit of magic. Background is starting to hurt my eyes a little. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, okay. Let's go this way. Huh. We're gonna go down. Let's go left. Hit that switch. I want to go down this one. No, I didn't want to go down this one. I want to go down one more, I think. No, we'll do this. Down. Uh, no, you know what? I changed my mind. Hit the switch again. Down this one. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> hit it on the rebound. Ooh, need to hit it again. Just barely. And we got somewhere. Oh, that's wild what you're asking me to do. Oh, that's even more wild than I thought. Okay. Yeah, that's scary. Uh, okay. I have a switch here. I don't know if I need to hit it, so I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna go this way. I'll take some damage. There's a switch here as well. See what you want me to do. That didn't seem to work. So I have to also not get hit. Why is... Oh, it's the wrong button. That's why. That was a mistake. I was not ready to actually hit there. Okay, 
that's why these enemies are here, is to refill your magic very slowly, should you happen to run out. Oh no. Go back this way. I want to go here for a little bit. So I could hit a switch here. But I don't need to at the moment, I don't think. Okay. Exit to the south is only for refreshing arrows. Got it. Alright. Take them at their word. Oh, good lord. Okay. Welcome to the Pokey Shooting Gallery Part 2. One hit off. All right. Room to the south is only for refreshing arrows. Huh? Let's do that. Oh. 
Let's try again. One. Nope. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Got him. I don't know how this functions. That's weird. I don't understand how that functions. I'm not complaining. Alright, so I could warp there. Let's go upstairs. Because I don't know where the warp's going to take me, and I'm scared to find out. Bring a block with you and keep it safe. Right. Oh, crap. Uh, nope, I went the wrong way. I'm going to drop down here. So where does this take me? Why would I want to be here? To refill my magic? And no other reason? Seems like it. I don't see how I get past that. But I have to. Oh, no. That forms a loop. I thought... Okay. I understand now. I just saw something wrong. Timing's bad. That was too soon. Oh, that timing is tough. Maybe I 
should just try something drastically different like this. Could have gone there. All right, let's go farm some magic and health. <clears throat> That's what this is here for. That should be good enough. Eh, let's do one or two more. There. All right, let's try again. The first one is easy to time. It's the second one that's giving me problems. Almost it. not have held forward there. I think I would have been taking less damage. Really? That felt like it was it. on that is just so tight and it's influenced by when in the cycle you enter this loop hey Yumiki thank you so much for that raid Appreciate it a ton. How was your stream? In the middle of focusing on the stupid thing. Trying to get the timing right. Oh, that looks like it. Alright. Oh, come on! 
for those of you... Oh, I took more damage there because I set down my controller. For those of you not following Amy McKee, uh, I recommend you give her a follow. Uh, she's my roommate and all around cool human being. Could have gone there. Ah, uh, this is gonna be too late. Yeah. Ah, uh, now I need to go farm more health and magic, or else I'm gonna die on the next attempt. Ah, uh, if you say so. If you say so. Magic. Money. Health. Arrow. Magic. Bomb. Ow. Getting cornered. Being dumb. It's a good prize. Let's run with this. Ten hearts. That gives me four attempts where I take two damage each to get this. Well, I haven't died. But that doesn't mean I have the timing right for this puzzle. It's not even that much of a puzzle, it's just a timing challenge. I think that's... Oh, it just barely missed. something slightly different. I don't know if this is going to make a difference. I think I could have gone there. Nope, 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 nope. Is there some tell that I'm missing that you do it at X time and it all lines up perfectly? Let's try straight down. Two, three, four. 
ほうほうほうオッケーはい。Two, three, four. Dang it. All right, we'll give it one more attempt. And then I'll go heal. One, two, three, four. Okay, that timing seems to be pretty consistent. Have the first one figured out. Let's get some health and magic back. I wish there were a more efficient way to farm. Health and magic here. But, I mean, that's the entire reason this room exists. I'm pretty sure. Probably fine now that I know the timing for the first two fire bars. I didn't expect to make that. Alright. Let's go ahead and preemptively switch to the hook shot. And then throw and hook shot. Finally! Uh. What? Can you actually kill these? Oh, probably not. I never mind. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
I missed that laser there. God. I'm glad I have a fairy, because I'm about to die. All of that was to flip a crystal switch. Let's heal back up. Why these hearts are sometimes giving me two hearts. I don't know what's up with that. But I'm not complaining. Alright, that's probably enough hearts. There. Eleven I will be satisfied with. So now let's go this way. All of that work was so that I could go here. So, blue, red, blue, huh, how do I get through this, I wonder? I beg your pardon? You want me to what now? Idea. Maybe this is actually secretly not super difficult. I go here. I push that too soon. though. 
that could work. That could do something. Oh, okay, there's an idea. Let's hit this. I pushed the wrong button to detonate the block. Or did I? I thought I pushed the right button. Okay, no, it is that button. I guess I just didn't push it fast enough. It's A and then X. Or rather, that's what the buttons are on this controller. That's probably not what the actual buttons are. I swear it's just not detonating there. It's like I can't detonate the block while I'm on that platform. Let's test that theory. If I go here and I just leave a block here. Okay, no, yeah, I can't detonate the block while I'm on this platform. Okay, so that's not the solution. That almost works. There we go. Uh, shoot, I need to hit the switch again. over here? This is just a way back, right? Yeah. This is not useful. This just does damage to me. Okay. Okay. 
Every single one of those I see, I get paranoid and pull its tongue. Sorry for all the repeated pausing and unpausing. I'm just trying to see what's actually going on there. I think this small key was the only thing I could get from over here. We're going to do another pass to make sure. So, yeah. Up. Yeah, this doesn't fork anywhere. Except here, where it just loops on itself. Okay. So, this trip was for the small key. What do I do with the small key now that I have it? Pay for it. All right. Back here, having collected a small key. Pretty long way to go out of my way for just a small key, but hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, I need to hit a switch. Okay. Oh, I missed. I missed. Need to hit the switch one more time. There we go. And we're finally... Let's try this again. We hit this. We hit that. Good enough. We hit it again. Go up. Go all the way to the left. Careful about our directional inputs once we land, because we can indeed just walk off. All of that will get us back to here. 
don't know where here is. Oh, but I can go here now. I haven't explored this yet. Uh... Alright, let's go this way. I need to have a switch flipped from here. I need the fire rod for this room. Or at least go south in that room. Alright, so I need a fire rod to get the switch over there. So if I'm over here, this, oh, oh, interesting. I think I see what it wants me to do. Okay, this is... God damn it, really? Alright, so that doesn't work. I'm not 100% certain I'm even doing the right thing here, but... Well, this doesn't feel like the right thing. Almost out of bombs now. All right, let's try to farm some health and bombs. Thank you. 
Let's call that good enough. That looks like a cracked floor. Which is tr why I've been trying to get a bomb over there. That didn't do it. Uh, now I'm out of bombs again. Can I just... Was I overcomplicating this thing down here? Yes. Okay. I have no bombs. And I must scream. to whatever's in this chest. I'm gonna take damage here. Uh, wait, let's keep going up. Oh, interesting. So now I can approach from this direction. Do a much more reasonable and slash actually possible bomb toss here. Blow that up. That gets rid of the spikes. Okay. Right idea. Uh, but couldn't do it from that position. Okay, that is three completely independent tracks. Which is not something I had properly pursed before. Now I can just push that out. Uh, what? Hang on. What? I'm an idiot. Okay. I see what I was supposed to do. I needed to not leave that screen once I blew up that floor. It does not stay blown up. here. Good thing we still have a few bombs left. That's not a bomb. And I just hook shot over here. Then we do this. Go down here. What? Did I seriously manage to, like, hit the block in midair? I couldn't have done that if I had been trying to do it. And yet here I am doing it accidentally and having it almost kill me. There we go. And all of that gets us down here. Dang it. Die. And I suspect this chest that I'm about to open has a fire rod.
Because the only other things that are... Well, maybe it has the big key. And then I need to go back to the big chest. Which has the fire rod. Yeah, okay. Of course. Because it can never just be simple. Ow. Ow. Okay. And to get back, I hook shot over to the statue. Fairy. Got a feeling. Alright, now I never did actually figure out how to get to the big chest, so now we have to do that. I think I can go this way. This is not it. Okay, I need to watch that path. Let's try going this way. something different uh, but not that useful okay so I do want to go here I want to go this way after this we're gonna face this way so I can hit that I think this puts us on the right track. There we go. 
take damage. Fine, I'll just get back there in one piece. I could do without the beeping, though. Game. go... Actually, this is a room I could farm health in again, which I would like to do, because beeping. Meanwhile, I'm gonna think about the order of operations, the lighting all the torches in here. Probably... We go... Open up the pots in the middle of the room. So that I can do bottom right, center, top, bottom left, right as I'm by the exit. that block across that gap and lets me get up here hit that and now I can go this way all right let's See. What? Nope. I wasn't ready for it to flip multiple times like that. Probably have enough magic to try this again. Okay. So I definitely want to hit this. Maybe I don't hit that one yet. Oh no, I needed to hit that one. Yeah, okay. Uh... Okay. 
You know what, we'll farm in a minute here. So we can farm on this screen, which is a little safer. just want a full magic meter. Mm, one more. There we go. Alright. I'll be satisfied with that. Alright, let me think about this puzzle. problem anytime I go into that center block. I swear there's something weird going on here. Anyway. Why did that hit twice? I don't understand. Is it because I'm pausing? Oh, I need to go flip the switch again. And farm magic again. Two of them spawn in here and I didn't kill them. Hmm. I'm not sure what it is I'm supposed to do in that room. Maybe I can just shoot over those blocks, and that's the trick? Yeah, that's probably what it is. I'm just over here complicating it. You can fire rod over the switch blocks. In which case, you just hit it on each side. You go to the outside. You hit it from the top. You go to the inside. So, theory, one, two, oh, wait, oh, how, That's how this works. In fact, I need to do something similar at the end here, where I wait, and then do that. There we go, okay. Oof. Bring a block with you and keep it safe. Just a farm room. Alright. Bring a block with me and keep it safe.
All right. So far, so good. Uh, what am I doing? That? Can't I just do like this? And then hit one of these loops. This one can be cheesed. Cause yeah, it doesn't even matter matter that I see Oh no it can't. Right, because the block gets scrolled off screen. And as soon as this Mario block is off screen, it despawns. Okay. Still, this one's not as hard as the other one of these was. Wait till about there. Get away with this. No, you can't. Uh, I want off this thing. Reset takes so long. <laughs> Even if you are willing to throw yourself in a pit, it takes forever. I think if I had gone just a little bit earlier there, I would have hit it. Like, I would have made the timing. I got it so easily the first time, but I screwed up at the very end. Alright. Let's go farm some magic and health. Hello, farm room. On the one hand, that I, I appreciate that they thought to include these spots where you could grind magic and health infinitely. On the other hand, it is unfortunate but the puzzles are designed such that you need this in order for this to function. Um, I don't... I don't know how you fix that, short of, like, having a million spots where you can enter, re-enter, and re-exit the dungeon to reset pots, which doesn't seem practical. I mean, certainly having this farming spot is much better than not having the farming spot. One more magic pot. There we go. idea of the timing I want. So it was there.
There we go. Alright, now I just gotta throw this closer to the top. Like here. Perfect. Easy peasy. I don't even care if I'm gonna take damage twice here. Hey, finally a shortcut. <laughs> That's spooky. Hello, Vitreus. I don't have good tools to fight you with. for a little while. Oh, you can fall in this arena. Gotta get you to line up again and hit. There we go. Take a heart container. Let's go forward, I guess. I don't know if I want to go forward or backwards. Oh. That would have been if I had fallen off early, I guess. And this warps me out. Back to the entrance. <sighs> okay. We did it. Oh, really? I can't jump down from here now? That's a little annoying. And that's why it won't let me come back out this way. Okay, I can go back into the dungeon yet again. Uh, the Royal Catacombs, that is. First, I just want to see... What's down here? This is just back to the beginning. Okay. Now, there's a bunch of stuff I know I can do with, um... Oh, God, really? Don't die here, please. Thank you. I remember the fire rod blocking a couple of puzzle areas that I want to go check out before I go back into the Royal Catacombs yet again. Did I get what whatever was in here? I don't recall. Is it something I could get? Oh no, this right, this is magic bat. 
I don't have the powder for Magic Bat. So I cannot do anything there. That's just the tavern. Right, so that's the archery range game. Interesting. Is this going to reset the chickens? secretly switch or anything. I would start with this one. Oh, come on. You are indeed the wrong way. Alright, I need to reset from that. the other one gets in the way. Well, fine. Uh, I need one of you to go to the other side, please. Yeah, that's way too slow.
No, this isn't gonna work. Alright. I'm not sure quite how to get this to work. I know step one is put a block here to save ourselves the time later. Down, please. What? How did I? How did that hit the switch? I wasn't even looking. I'm certain I hit the chicken. one so it starts running away from me that'll put it here and wait for the other one to be near the torch so I can just run over I missed the right idea. It's just hard to execute. No, no, don't go all the way over there. I'm chase you back out of this corner. Yes. I'm chase you out of this corner. Stay there. All right. No, you stupid RNG chicken. The RNG here is definitely the worst part of this. this bottom one decides to move back towards the bottom torch. It's 
basically what we're waiting for here. Come on. Go towards the torch. You can do it. Go towards the torch. That's the wrong way. Fine, go to the other torch. The other torch will do fine as well. Alright. This is irritating. No, damn it. Just have to let this other one decide to go near one of the other torches. <sighs> of course, right now it's nowhere near any of them. chicken. Torch. Just do it. Try to do it with two panicking chickens. Oop, nope. I need you to go back the other way. Not too far back the other way. Come on. Go, 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 go. Damn it. Too slow. <sighs> Alright, I think I can make this work with two panicking chickens, which makes them a lot easier to manipulate. rather possible to manipulate. Uh, let's just go ahead and hit both the chickens. Alright, 
So... Starting from up here... Going... Oh, come on! chickens. Second. Alright. Go up here. Got it. That took entirely too long. Oh, hang on. I want to refill my magic. was you are out mushroom hunting in Econa Canyon. Yes. Yep. Try going this way. Yeah, whatever. You know what? I don't even care. Don't even care. Is there anything in here? Oh, right. You're the one friendly thief who gave me a glove. What? The jukes. Do this cave. Right. I was holding off until I found the fire rod to do this one. And guess what? I have the fire rod. So. I want to prep everything first and think about where it is I need to go. So. I think we'll start here. There we go. 
That wasn't even particularly difficult. I did not expect to get the mirror out of that, of all things. That's a nice thing to have. Alright. As expected, it does nothing here. Um. Does the block delete glitch still exist? Oh. That counts as a dungeon. Apparently. Good to know. This does not, however. Don't hurt Popo. Got it. Right. I remember this. This needs a fire rod as well. So. You just time your... Too slow. Alright. Let's reset. faster going that way. Oh, but I have to be fast to get back to here. Okay. Should have dashed. Uh, hit it again here. And then dash. Try not to bonk. Alright. I need to reset so I can get my magic back. But I think that's the idea. I mean, it's definitely the idea, it's just I need to be better at execution. So, I think it's going to be better to start from the other side. Yeah, start from here. do hurt Popo. I kind of want to find out now that I've collected the heart piece. <laughs> so that treasure chest is going to be somewhere in the middle of the path in the next room. I'm not solving the puzzle again to show it, but I assume that's what's happened there. Okay. Let's round out the stream by trying to finish out Royal Catacombs as much as we can.
Uh, I wonder what I can do with a mirror. I mean, normally you would use that in the dark world. To get back to the light world. But honestly, we're far enough in at this point, it feels like, that... Is there a dark world? I'm not convinced that there is. down this way, climb up these stairs, bounce across this pit, I did everything, yeah, that just led me to the big key. So I now have things that I didn't have last time I was here. Fire Rod and Red Boomerang. Alright. Step one is I think I want to go hit the switch. Yeah. Hit the switch in this room. Just any of the switches once. Might as well pick up a bomb over here. here. I climb up this. We use Canis and Mario to hold down this. Dash to the left. Go all the way this way. Hit the switch. Alright. And time to do some fire rod stuff. this is gonna be go here fire rod up fire rod down fire rod up and down dash back Oop. hurry 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 got there Fairy at the moment. We'll take the full magic. Okay, so I can jump down into that corridor, which doesn't accomplish a ton, it looks like. Well, how do I get that heart piece, I wonder? Okay, so I could jump down and go to the north, or I can go this way. Let's go this way first. Never mind. Need to hit a switch. Alright. Jump down. Just confirming. Yeah, this is a dead end. It's also the way back, but... All the way north.
switch down there. Nothing. But I've hit the switch now. Alright, well, having hit the switch, first of all, confirm there's still nothing doing over there. That's a shortcut. Okay, I can hit that switch if I needed to with a Samaria block. And then I bonk off of the statue that I've placed onto the conveyor belt. Oh, and I also need a Samaria block on that side. That's fascinating. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do that. just I have to line this up correctly but yeah that'll do I see what we're doing here so we need to approach this from three different angles to hit those three blocks. Okay. Um, I haven't tried going, no, I have tried going to the left here, right? It was a dead end. I don't think I've tried going to the left here. Switch to be in the other position to go this way. Which is easy enough to do. But while it's in the position that it's currently in, I still don't know how to get that. Oh, is there... Hang on. 
puzzle that I can push this block? sure what the puzzle is here. I nailed it the first time. Good job. Good job, self. Alright, what am I trying to do here? I need to hit switches kind of a lot, it looks like. So, like, if I leave this... I leave that there, then I actually use the boomerang to hit this the first time. I can push this up against that. Use this, push upwards like that, throw across the gap that push that all the way up push this over get a magic refill okay I see I don't know if that was the intended solution, but it worked. Uh... Oh, it definitely wasn't. It definitely wasn't.
think I need to reset this room. Oh, interesting, the room didn't... Interesting, the room doesn't reset. Does that mean I can get to it from elsewhere? Alright, let's come back to that. Still don't know how I would do that. But while the switch is in this position, I want to go this way. So I can go up here. trying to do I guess I'm trying to be here with red up no. oh there's a hint over there let's read the hint doesn't tell me anything I didn't already know. Okay, I'm starting to piece together something of an idea. If red is going to be up, and blue is going to be down. I think I have to prepare a path for myself in advance. So like, oh, I don't think I wanted to do that. But like, I can hammer these down. Yeah, okay, I need to reset. Sure. I can reset that way. So, start by hammering down these pegs. Uh, hook shot across. Hammer down these pegs. Okay. Now. What do I do with this block? Nothing. I mean, not nothing, but I do this.
Oh. You can't hook shot to the pushable ones. You can bonk off of them. Maybe I can just bonk across that gap? It seems a little wide to do that. Also moves. So maybe I can just like move that one to there. I see. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, there's a lot of... This is a lot more of a subtle puzzle than I thought. There's a lot of stuff to set up. So, step one... I want to hit... This, specifically. go back across um, right I can just do this and that Now I can do... How do I... Oh, that pot. I use that pot. Okay. So let's not set that up yet, just in case. But now I come over here. 
I'm about to pick up this pot. Because the thing is, I don't want to hit all three of these hammer pegs. Um, I want to hit this one. And I want to hit that one. And I want to leave this one alone. I'm glad I didn't pick up the pot yet. As soon as I pick up this pot, I can't get over to the side until I flip the switches again. That's okay. So. So, we're gonna push a statue all the way out here. We're gonna pull a statue over this way. And we're gonna bonk off of this statue. So that I can pull this further down. Hook shot back over. And that's all prepped. Okay. So, go up here. I hook shot up to the red block in the very top. I hook shot over to that isolated red block in the middle. Go around the path, blonk off of that red block, end up over in that upper left area, come down, hook shot to the hammer peg in the middle, uh, smack the hammer peg on the bottom, but leave the one in the middle alone, bonk off of the one in the middle downwards, then bonk off of this peg to the left. Then bonk off the statue over there, and then pull the statue up, bonk off of it, get to the next room. I'm ready to flip the switch. I'm not ready to flip the switch. Hang on. I gotta move this block and this block first. Now I can walk through this. Bonk. Uh, make sure I line myself up and hook shot. Hit this peg. Bonk. 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 Pull this up. Bonk. Okay, that was a complicated puzzle. And I have to do it again once I have a key. I hope I open a shortcut somehow. Oh, maybe this is just gonna give me a key. Shooting gallery, got it. Alright. And I can't use the hook shot. One. Oh, you have the key. Wonder if there's anything special if I get all of them. No. Okay. We've got some beepity beeps for a little bit. Please don't. That's not a separate super tile, so I can't reset that way. Alright. I'll take some arrows. And I've got this one done. Great. I need to do the mm, bottom one, which... involves a puzzle I haven't figured out yet. 
which is unfortunate. Unfortunate. It's not something weird where it's like... No, oh, this isn't a new super tile. Uh, it's not going to reset the enemies anyways. I have to go a ways away. Nope, nope, nope. This is right. That should be in here. Alright. I want to throw it, like, here? Uh, not really, no. That was not right. I want to throw it, like, here. All right, we're back here. And I'm still not sure what to do with this puzzle. Good. I get. I now I get to do this puzzle with the beeping noise, just what I always wanted. I need to get down here somehow. That doesn't move. That doesn't move. Can I just bump across this? No. No, I cannot. can't see the switch from here, which means I can't activate the switch from here. That's annoying. Yeah, it's too far off camera. There's an idea. I hit this. I leave a Samaria block here.
There we go. So now... I can pull this up this way. This is actually just for the purpose of getting on the other side of this, I think. Yeah, so that now I can pull it over this way. Hit. 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 get it. I'm just trying to get it there so that I can throw a block here and only hit the switch once. Bada bada ba. Bada bada ba? you put a chest? I could already... Ooh, I could have already... Well... I don't know what that changes, because I already figured out how to get over there. Let's see what's in the chest. Nothing, as I thought. Yeah, I already figured out how to get over here. Granted, I've this tells me that it was an unintended method of getting over here, but it's a possible one. So... Can I somehow leave a block? No. No, I cannot. If I can figure out... flip a switch while I'm here. That's what I need to figure out. Not like that. Because if I could flip a switch while I'm here, I could hookshot across to the blue blocks in front of me. 
And from there, I can easily see the switch to hit it with, like, a boomerang, step onto the blue blocks, bonk off of the red blocks, and get to my destination. But I don't know how to hit a switch while I'm over there. Because the only switch on camera is that one over there. And I don't see any way... I'm ever hitting it. I don't think there's some crazy timing thing I can do there. Kind of stumped. Get rid of the beeping, at least. But I'm starting to run low on magic, and I don't have a place to refill it here. Something stupid like that seems way more precise than anything this game has asked me to do in the past. So that doesn't seem right to me.
Is it just as like stand on the very very edge of the ledge? Something silly like that. I'm just gonna have to reset out of the dungeon at this point. Or use my blue potion, which I'd prefer not to do. potion rather than reset out of the dungeon. But I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. accomplished was me getting over here and getting to this chest. There's nothing for me to bonk off of. Except the wall. But with the red switches up, I don't see how that matters anyways. If I could get there with the... If I could... Again, if I could flip the switch while I'm standing here, that's it. I figured it out. Game over. But I don't see how to do that. There's only one... There's only one switch on the camera, and it's not in a remotely hittable location. too, which is not great. This feels like this is supposed to be the easy part, but I cannot, for the life of me, fathom what it is I'm supposed to be doing. Like, what actually happens if I were to flip this switch again?
caught on the block there. Okay. Well, that's almost something. Okay. But no, the blasts just disappear as soon as they're off screen. What am I missing? So there's some weird secret tech that I don't know about? It's possible. I don't think I can do that fast enough. That didn't even seem to hit the switch. Is there, like, do I have to approach from a different room? No. Good to know I can get past those first couple of ones with just the boomerang. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Hopefully I have enough magic to execute on my idea.
that's why that conveyor belt is there. Is to stop the plan that I'm trying to make work right now. What the hell? Dumb on my end. This is fine. Go up here. Alright, let's just push this statue out of the way. Now. Okay, I think this will work. Do this. Switch over to Boomerang. From here. Alright. Like that, but better. Perfect. This is what I need to do. Oh boy. That was a real brain teaser. But now, I can do this. I can do this. Uh, and I have to bonk off of these. Don't fall in the pit now. Oh boy, we did it. Okay. I am out of resources. We did eventually get there. I still have no earthly idea how to get this heart piece. I'm gonna keep going and hope that something reveals itself to me later. Alright, I need to hit a switch. Wow. This looks like there's gonna be places to drop down from. Like that pot's got probably got a small key in it. There's probably gonna be a place I can drop down to go through this north door. And that probably means there's a place I can drop down to hit the piece of heart as well. Oh, this is taking longer to finish than I had hoped, but it's fine. Fire shield really helps here. Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but sure. This isn't like secretly dig through this tile or something. Huh. Alright. I see. Now that's how I get over to here. has a switch under it which opens up a chest which lets me go here oh boy this just uh, keeps going huh All right. so to start I need the switch in the other position okay that's easy enough I will gladly take that bomb because I don't have any. Go through here. There's a statue. 
statue needs to go that way, I guess, based on that drawing. Oh, there's a little bit of conveyor belt here. Okay. You can go this way. I need to flip a switch. That way. So where is there a switch that I can flip? Oh. No? How does one hit that switch, I wonder? Can I go this way? I hear something. Ah, and I'm trying to get the switch to the statue to here so I can bonk that way. That anti fairy is not on the same level that I am. Okay. Of course, I can't go that way now. Can't go that way. I can go over here. Well, there goes my one bomb. I can't go any further that way. can't get in there. I need to get in over there, but I would need to get through this. See what they want me to do. Only the thing we've been doing all dungeon. Stand here, throw this. I'll work on the timing. Now I can go this way, and I can start pulling the statue. Grab here, pull. Just keep pulling. All right, that should be good enough, because now we're gonna push after we flip the switch again.
I'm gonna go up here, push. push it all the way down and then go flip the switch again push this all the way down go around again pull To there. No. Because I'm going to need a way out. Hit the switch again. Okay. Come down here. Okay. Now that the statue's not in the way, we can take the long way around. Hit the switch this way. Uh, nope. Uh, I gotta go this way. Yeah. We're gonna take the long way around. Which is... Oh, not down there, but up here. Can go over here now we can get to this side push this the few more pixels down go all the way back flip the switch again nope nope that's not it flip the switch uh, I need to leave this way Come back this way. Pull. Right about there should be good. Go back again. Flip the switch again. And then I should be able to pull downwards. So hit this. Pull down. Yeah. Leave it as is. Now I can just... Okay. I don't have to go around a super long way this time. I can just push that there. Pull this onto there. Bonk. Oh, uh, not bonk yet. Shoot. Uh, I can bonk backwards, right? Because I need to hit the switch again. Because there's blue blocks at the top of the stairs. Bonk. Alright, and now we have the second level of maze. Oh, I should have caught that fairy. Dang it. I okay. Thank you. 
again. I just have to time it blindly. Mississippi two, Mississippi. Two Mississippi is about right. Button. Shortcut. Five rupees. Dealt with worse. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I've dealt with equally bad. This isn't that hard. Just gotta be a little patient. Tag nabbit. I should not have touched any of those. Hopefully that resets them. I don't know that it will though. Right. Oh boy, okay. I see what you want from me. Stand as close as possible. Throw. Okay. Oop. to do for a little while. Just wait. That works. Alright. Uh, yeah, this one's good. We're just gonna flip the switch here. And again there. So close. So close. Here, let's set up the first couple of ones to be friendly. There. That's a good starting position.
Okay. Wait. Okay. Uh, we're good there. We're gonna wait till here. Uh oh. Nope. Dang it. That one was not positioned well. Uh, I want to do. I want that to start with. Okay, perfect. Great. All right, la just the last one. Nope. Oh, I screwed up. Clear the first blue block. Do that. Perfect. Okay. That's going to get us, what, a small key? So I can go south? Sure enough. Alright, and that didn't respawn those. something over there. Don't know what, but there's something. wanted to do that. Okay. I did want to do that. That's another heart piece out of this dungeon. Um, I do have to go back, though. I think I can do this. I can go here. I do have to redo this room one extra time, but that's not too bad. All right, go down here, go over here, hit that. And now I can go this way. Ow.
Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. This part should be easy. Okay, and I'm very curious about this over here. That's what I thought. That's all four heart pieces out of this dungeon. And this will be the boss. Oh god, it's Helmosaur on a tracker floor. Uh, one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dodge. Didn't dodge good enough. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. I have twenty-nine arrows. Let's use some of them. Cause I really don't want to die here. Especially my fighter sword does not do any damage to the boss. God, I don't want to die here. But, uh, I think I'm going to. Okay. I did not expect to survive that. I will take that heart container. Gladly. And I will take this pendant. Three pendants. Crap, I let it get late. As you touch the amulet, a memory rushes into your mind. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The plot thickens. Okay, it's late. Um, I need to go to bed because I got work in the morning. But that is going to do it for the stream tonight. Thank you all for joining me. Um, this has been a lot of fun. Looking forward to playing more of this next week. So, next week's schedule, upcoming schedule. Uh, tomorrow, we've got TFS Fridays. Uh, let's see... I still haven't updated this command, and I really need to. Uh, is that it? Oh, uh, no. It's TFS Friday. Shoot. What did I actually call this command? One moment. Going over to Nightbot. Hi. Uh... Uh... Is Nightbot just not in the chat today, I guess? Let's also edit that command while I'm at it. Uh, cause it's actually... So, 7 p.m. tomorrow to... Uh, at least 9 p.m. tomorrow. We'll be doing Crystallis Randomizer Full Stupid Seeds. Great. Um, let's try this again. TFS Fridays. There we go. Like that, like it says in the chat. Um, making new seeds as I die, and at 9 o'clock is our cutoff. Whatever seed we're on at that point is the last seed of the night, and we'll go until either I finish that seed or I die. Um, great. Sunday, game watch, 
we figured out what we're doing. Aside from all the technical difficulties we've been dealing with, it should be Worms WMD. Should be a lot of fun. Um, I think I'll be hosting that, but that's still going to be over at twitch.tv slash the con save. So come check it out there. Uh, give them a follow. They also do like a lot of tabletop RPGs. So if you are into that sort of thing, give them a follow. Um, then next week, so Tuesday, I think I want to go back to Anodyne 2 speedruns because there were some, just earlier today, some new and interesting glitches with some potential interesting speedrun applications were discovered. So I want to see what I can make of that. So that's what we're going to be doing on Tuesday. Uh, and then I think next Thursday we'll be back to Gerudo Exile. Um, so if you're only here for that, you gotta wait a week. Uh, but I... On some level it feels like we're getting close to closing out the game, but on some level it feels like there's still a bunch to go. Uh... I'm pretty sure the next thing to do is take all the pendants to the uh, pedestal. Maybe I need to go to the hideout first. See what happens to Zelda. I don't know. Anyways, um, that's going to do it for tonight. Thank you all for joining me. I've said that a bunch of times. Uh, oh, right. Socials. Uh, follow me on social media. Uh, I post on Twitter and in my Discord every time I go live. Um... I've put my weekly schedule in Discord. I've also got a YouTube channel where I'm putting up this playthrough. Hi, YouTube. If you're watching this there, great. Thank you. Um, I haven't put up Episode 3 yet. So this weekend, Episode 3. So Tuesday's stream and today's stream should get exported into to YouTube uh, this weekend. So you can keep up on the full game there. Um, also, before I forget... Because I haven't done this on camera the last couple of times. I'm going to actually save and quit. Yeah, that's all I got. Uh, let's see if there's anyone I want to raid. Oh, uh, is that accurate? Is that, is that right? Is Turbo still alive? Yes. Okay. We are going to go raid Turbo. So... Da, 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 da. Yeah, so we're gonna raid. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, and wish Digital Turbo, who's speedrunning some Super Mario 64, some good luck. Yeah. Uh, that's all I got. Bye.